Hello, my name is Navigator. In today's video, I wanted to uh, just show off some of my favorite locations to you guys. So, if you guys are uh, new to 76, if you're old to 76, you know, returning player, or if you've never, you know, played 76 before, this is a great video because uh, I'm going to be touching on a lot of points that um, everybody can really, you know, take from. Like, uh, if you're a new player, you know, these are some locations that maybe you've never been to before and you're going to be uh, keen to check out. If you're an old player, maybe it's some stuff that you haven't seen in a while and you want to go back. But, anyways, this is some, uh, just some of my favorites around the map and, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm actually, um, here at my first location right now and this is on the top of Seneca Rock so that was perfect timing me AFK uh, spinning around so uh, this is such a cool location I love being on the top of this it's um yeah honestly I don't really know what else more needs to be said you know uh, it's just this is like one of the highest points of the map I, it might be the highest I'm not entirely sure you know that honestly looks over looks a little bit higher over there at a Pleasant Valley Ski Resort or whatever it's called um, but yeah, this is really cool. I, I like this peak. There's like two peaks. There's uh, that peak over there, and then this peak right here. And I prefer this one, because you can uh, come down here and actually build a camp right in this little slot down there. So, And uh, right, right back here, there's like a little passageway, which I love. I love putting um, little signs. It's like, oh, you know, beware, don't fall. or whatever. There's some sign like that. I don't know. But the uh, other coolest part about being up here is there's actually an Easter egg here. Now, uh, I don't remember what the Easter egg means, nor, uh, I mean, if I, if I did, I probably wouldn't share it with you, I mean, I don't really want to spoil it, but, uh, it's uh, Astro Panda Rowan Seneca, written in chalk on this rock here, and there's a little panda here. It's something, I think it's a reference to, like, a mod or a dev, I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, this is such a cool place, sorry, such a cool place, and, uh, honestly, I couldn't be all the way up here without jumping off and killing myself, so, let's go ahead and do that. This is a long drop. There we go. Is that it? Oh, I'm like meshed into the ground here. There we are. Err, respawn. Okay, so that's Seneca Rock. So that is right here on the map. Um, honestly, you can't miss it if you come over here. It's the giant fucking rock formation. But uh, next up, we're going to come all the way down here to Big Bend Tunnel East. And uh, this location... <laughs> It's pretty cool. I, uh, if you guys saw my favorite um, event video, I was uh, talking about this uh, this place right here, and uh, this, this actually just so happens to also be one of my favorite locations, and you'll see why in a second. So there's actually a vendor here, a trader. I think her name is Eugenie. Um, I really want her hat. It's like a Yushanka hat with a little thing on the top and a flashlight. I think that looks so cool. But uh, if you're looking to do the mission here, um, riding shotgun, come over here and talk to Vinny. Vinny is the guy to talk to. He's wearing that suit there. But yeah, we're just going to come in here quick. I'm going to show you the first room, and uh, you'll understand why I love this place so much. So yeah, I'm going to come right in here. And um, there's typically NPCs in here when you do the event, but not right now, I don't think. So yeah, let's come in here. Um, yeah, this is it. Okay, so... I love this place here. I'll get by the entrance again. I'll turn my flashlight off. You can kind of see um, the water reflects on here. I love how it spins around. It's kind of like having a, that like uh, starry night carousel light thing in your room at night when you were a kid. That's what it reminds me of. But it's so cool. And then you come over here. It's got the Blue Ridge Caravan logo all over this stuff. You know, it's very like faction uh, factionized I guess will be the term but looking at this main kind of fortification building here you can see it's like a uh, old train car with a bunch of scrap wood and uh, different levels and I guess staircases to it um, and I always have been trying to recreate this in um, my camps and everything but fortunately there is a uh, what do you call it a prefab a, uh, an atomic shop prefab that looks similar to this coming with the pit update, so I don't have to wait much longer, but uh, yeah, let's move on to the next location, this uh, just again is Big Bend Tunnel East down here, and it actually ends over there in the ash heap at Big Bend Tunnel West, so it's virtually the same thing, I mean it's a long way to go, but this tunnel is honestly not that long, so let's eradicate this, these mongrels first actually, get some XP before I leave, ooh, do I not have the right class on? That might not have been a good idea. Um, yeah, Sayonara. I do have the right class on. 
you literal mongrels. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, get away from me. Okay, on to the next, on to the next, down here in the Cranberry Bog, actually, is where we're going to go next. So, we are going to head to Watoga, and, uh... Once I get here, I mean, you're not really going to be surprised why I love this place so much. I'm definitely a big fan of, like, large kind of cityscape places. I loved Boston and Fallout 4. I loved Megaton and Fallout 3. Um, or not even Megaton. I loved the mall in, Mega in uh, Fallout 3. I loved uh, the Strip, obviously, in New Vegas. So this is uh, kind of similar to that. It's not really as lively or as lit up, I guess. But um, it's just a big area. You know, I love... Let's see, this kind of like, um, this, uh, what, what do you call it? Reminds me of those Dunwich Borers faces that were under the ground in Fallout 3. And uh, they've had stuff in the Atomic Shop about it. It's kind of that HP Lovecraft bullshit, I don't know. But, um, just these, like, ruined, like, giant, I guess, skyscrapers, quote-unquote. You know, these just, like, ruined buildings. You know, the city of the future, run by robots, and now it's totally dead, you know. This is what's left of, uh... The, civ the, the the people here, the civilians, so we got that, and it's all these motherfuckers roaming around, hello sir you know, all that bullshit, lovely day in it, I don't know, whatever they say in Britain um, but yeah, this place is great, and uh, I I've always loved it, I really have always loved it, I love coming here for um, what is it, importance of communication I don't love here, or love coming here to come talk to Chief or Cop a Squatter, I usually prefer when that uh, kind of just, um uh, equips itself that mission. Looks like it says keep out over here. But yeah, you know, I'm kind of just wandering around this whole giant abandoned city almost. So it's pretty sweet. What is that? A ghoul? Scorched officer? Ghoul officer. So uh, yeah, this is Watoga. And uh, honestly, you're probably going to come down here pretty frequently. This is where the queen happens. I mean, she happens like literally right. Yeah, look, there's already a blast zone there. So, but uh, yeah, that's Watoga. And uh, we'll move on to our second to last location here. Let me uh, find out where it's at. There we are. All right. So, we're loading in here. And, uh, huh, that's funny. Watoga has it. But this is pretty similar to Watoga. And this is Charleston. This is another, you know, big city. Um, it's actually a nice, nice spot to be. We kind of got the bridge here. Oh shit, get the fuck away from me, burn in hell, die, there you go, um, so, yeah, this place is awesome, <laughs> I was just totally roasting that Snally Gaster, anyways, um, you can see over here there's the Charleston Capitol building, it's got that great, uh, gold dome, although it looks like melted butter right now with my <laughs> loaded graphics, but, um, over here, there's, uh, the whole town that was kind of laid to waste, and uh, the lore of this is, or, um, something like that is, like, uh, there was a raider gang, or some kind of gang that was here, maybe it was, like, a good gang, and, uh, they were, this was, like, one of the biggest, like, strongholds in West Virginia, and then, um, there was a traitor or something that was with the raiders, and then the, uh, the raiders flooded it, or they broke a dam or something, and, uh, the whole city of Charleston got flooded, so, that's why all this shit is fucked up, not really because of the bombs, because you can see all these buildings over here, but actually because it was totally flooded, so, looks like somebody put down a shack down there, I'm pretty sure there's an NPC that actually sleeps in here, but, uh, yeah, I forget his name, so, let's head to the, uh, last location, and we can wrap this video up. So, it's not surprising, but this is actually uh, Fort Atlas. <laughs> Load times are great on the Series X, but yeah. Again, not surprising. This is Fort Atlas. Um, I love this place. I've uh, I filmed uh, maybe one, two videos here. Um, and uh, this place is just so great. I don't even need to go on the inside. I love the outside more than literally anything. So I'll start up here. You can see the uh, the observatory here, which is so cool. The Atlas Observatory, which has been um, what do you call it? Repurposed for the Brotherhood of Steel. They have all their logos and you know they got guards up and everything. But I love how they did all this little decoration here. You know, you got a little supply kind of medical tent barracks thing up here. Um, this goes all the way around. Uh, down here, there's the whole, you know, like, loading bay. They got the SAM turrets. Excuse me. 
a little burp there. And uh, up here is this kind of like a helipad, but this almost works as a stage too. Um, with this Brotherhood of Steel logo, I remember when I was in a, my Brotherhood of Steel roleplay group, we used to come here sometimes for like debriefs and the patrols, stuff like that. And it's really nice. It's, it's a flat area with a good view of not only Ford Atlas from this angle, but Seneca Rocks from that angle. So yeah, you know, what more can you wish for? This is a pretty clear area. So, um, I mean, last but not least, I could talk about down here, or at least this kind of oil, or no, not oil, uh, crane is, but there's also uh, a stash box down here and uh, a bunch of workshops so you can, you know, repair whatever you need to do, power armor, weapons, and uh, armor. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, hop over here for a nice little backdrop before we, uh, we end it. But, yeah, these are uh, just some of my favorite locations in Fallout 76. Not really doing me justice there, but uh, anyways, who gives a fuck? You guys know what I look like. The ghillie suit, the cowboy hat, the mask, that handsome devil navigator. I'm just messing around. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. These have been my uh, top four, five, I don't know. I lost count. Uh, favorite locations within 76. But there are more to come. So stay tuned, and I will see you all for the uh, Atomic Shop reveal tomorrow at uh, 12 noon EST. So adios, motherfuckers. Take care. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Adios.